have technical difficulties tonight. I, even, I forgot I unplugged the mic. All right, let me start over. Anyway, so what we're looking at here, I just realized I had done that because I was listening to something and I was trying to record it and I didn't want what was going on around me. All right, so again, welcome. <laughs> um, all right, so what we've got here is what I got on eBay, an Age of Sigmar box set that was used, stripped all the paint and fixed the models as best we can, uh, at least these. I have a whole new set over here that I've had that I've never used or never put together and that's what I'm going to do tonight. Now that all the demons are done and I did some work, I'm going to do a little reveal here in a minute. Um, all of these blood reavers, I guess that's what they're called. They're going to be just as a reminder. These guys are going to be, um, gosh, man, what is going on with my arm tonight? Sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know what's happening here, but it's really starting to upset me. I might start seeing an actual angry badger here soon. That looks like we can see everything now, mostly. Um, Anyway, these guys will end up being my corn berserkers, and the ch chaos champions over here, and this lord, I guess, or whatever the heck he is in Age of Sigmar, I don't know, in the standard bear, they will all be uh, my chaos, or my corn chosen, if you will. Um, this guy will be the champion with the flesh hound, and what I was going to say before I realized that I wasn't doing anything is um, that this is a have fun army. It's totally, you know, like thematic and things like that. Hold on one second. Um, so anyway, that's what, that's what we're going with here. And so we will have two squads of chosen uh, that are just you know made out just like this one. Oh my gosh, this thing fell again. Come on, dude What is happening here tonight? I just don't even understand it um, Sorry, I got Dog is whining for whatever reason We're seriously having some te technical difficulties here. Oh I think I understand why the gimbal is doing its own thing. There we go. All right, so anyway, the, you know, and then we've got this guy. I don't remember what he's called, but <clears throat> he's going to be an exalted champion, and I'll have two of them. And then, of course, this will be our hell brute, and we'll have two of these. And we will be putting all of this together, hopefully tonight, and that will be will be done with all of the troops or whatever. that we've got a couple of dogs here that are not ours and the dog is just whining it's a little bit annoying um, we'll have to do some conversion as well like one of these guys is gonna need a banner so that he you know these are squads of 10 and they'll and we need one with an icon and the same thing will apply with the other um, the other guys um, I'm not sure if I'll have any extra parts so you might see me actually rip off some heads of the guys that are not wearing helmets and then ultimately what I would like to do is I would like to take some of my bits that I have like shoulder pauldrons and things like that and actually see if there's a way I can put them on some of these guys and then I'm going to paint these guys I've already figured it out that I'm going to paint them like a white uh, like the white from the world eaters with some red on top um, so that there's white armor showing and things like that. So. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear this dog whining, so I'll apologize up front if you can. We're just gonna have to deal with it because the dog has zero discipline. Um, Alright, let me just 
notice this little bit on his hair. I, again, and the other thing too is I'm, I'm gonna try to, I'm probably gonna rip off some of these heads at some point and put like a Space Marine helmet or something like that on there if I can, um, if I think I really need to. I'm not sure if I really need to, but um, these guys will be really good. And they're already on 32 millimeter bases. So if they if they rate to be on a 32 millimeter base, then they, in my opinion, they rate to be a Chaos Space Marine. So that being said, I'm gonna move these guys out of the way. Move my keyboard back out of the way because I was trying that last stand mode um, on Dawn of War 2. It was okay. Not as fun as I think some people make it out to be. Um, also, I have to keep these guys here because I don't have the instructions apparently anymore for how to put everybody together. So I'm going to have to basically work my way through it and use these guys as my um, template for doing that. So hopefully it won't be too cumbersome and take me too long. I don't think it will. I think that the if I'm not mistaken, I think the, the starter set's pretty much like, you know, mono pose, things like that. Um, and I guess maybe in a way I don't really want to convert them too much because I still want to be able to use them for Age of Sigmar, I mean Age of Sigmar Fantasy or whatever. I don't know if I'll ever play Age of Sigmar to be honest with you, but what I am going to do is I am going to put, you know, like a bolt pistol and stuff like that on you know, on their hip and stuff in the future. But right now, I just want to make them playable. But before we get into that, here is our new reveal. I've been working on this all day. Well, when I had time. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if you guys remember this, and for those of you new to the channel, I made this Land Raider. I made a mold of a Land Raider, and then I cast it. Cast it. Now the doors don't open in the front, the doors don't open in the side, the heavy bolter does not move. I thought that that would be uh, a weak point in the point of making the mold. And with this particular one, I decided that I wanted to give it character up top, just like I did with my Space Wolves um, Land Raider. And as you guys can see, I used the spare bits that I had from uh, from the blood letters and things. And then, of course, I had these little skulls are from a box of skulls. I didn't use that many, though. Um, but from the blood letters and the blood crushers. So we have, you know, iconic, iconic, iconography, iconography, whatever. I don't know. Um, and... And it works. Um, there may be some other things that I'll do to tidy it up in the future. Um, I'm not sold on these parts right here with the extra blood crusher heads. I mean, they look good right now, but when you turn them around, you know, you can kind of see, you know, they just kind of sit on there. Um, I mean, I, I mean, they're, you know, I could probably, you know, do something with that if I want to. I'm not sure how far I'll go with it, and I'm, I'm waiting to see if these grow on me. Um, if you'll notice, uh, on the heads themselves, I did not put the armor plating on top. I filled them with skulls. Uh, that allowed them to be together and still fill that hole in. And then I just went ahead and did the same thing up here for this portion, which can be anything from a pintle mounted storm bolter to your Havoc missile launcher to whatever. You know what I mean? It's for the character of it. And then I put skulls all the way around it and stuff, uh, as you can see. And I thought it came out pretty good. Um, I'm not positive what this big giant skull is, but I got the approval from my wife that uh, it looks good there. Once she saw it, she wasn't sure about it. But when I took it away, it definitely, something was missing for sure. Um, and I know that a lot of corn land raiders out there, they build the whole racks and they fill them with skulls and things like that. I, I don't really want to do that. I think it's a waste. Um, it's just not something I want to do. And 
I, I like the little dotted I think the dotted skulls and things like that you know are going to bring out a little more and of course I left it where I could change it if I need to down the road so you know if we if it's not growing on us if we need more skulls I have plenty believe me um, I will never be out of skulls I can tell you that um, what do I got I probably got 10 or 12 of these boxes right here if you've never seen these 10 or 12 of these boxes and you can go back and look at this later but um, just to give you an idea of how many are in each box and I did include just you know for you know a couple of um, plate uh, plate bearer skulls in there as well we've got a couple of orcs kind of like where's Waldo um, there's an orc skull and there's another orc skull um, we got the plague bearers. There is a Tau one right in here. Probably can't make it out, but there's a Tau skull in there. Um, you know, it's just I think it. I think it's good. So, and the same thing will happen with the land raider. We'll go with the general world eaters um, paint scheme, but with red mixed in, as if it's like changing or converting to you know the corn red which is just too much red for me so anyway i thought you guys might enjoy that um and uh because i am definitely enjoying it i don't enjoy getting stuck by things like <laughs> um but that's just how it goes so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side and we'll get started i really wanted to put it on the shelf but I knew that you guys would love to see that. All right, let's see here. So we've got our Blood Reavers, Blood Reavers. And this is the Hell Brute, the bigger Chaos Marines, or whatever. All right, so we'll wait on them and the champion stuff we'll get the blood reavers knocked out first since they're pretty look like they're just basically two parts so that or well maybe three parts but that's okay we can do this and again if you're new to the channel please like subscribe leave a comment And let people know. I was definitely impressed by these models for sure. did buy my box set first edition age of sigmar for these models and that was it i already know that goes with that because i had to repair uh, the one sitting in front of me Answers my question. It does not look like I'll be able to exchange those heads because of the monopose deal. That's okay. I could probably cut them off later if I need to and do something. It's nice to be literally almost done with another army. And 
not one that I thought that I would really ever get to, but I've kind of I've kind of committed myself to getting all my chaos stuff done um, since I've made such progress on it, and you know it's it's good. I mean, and, and in doing it, I've become interested in it more so than I was back when I bought all these models. I have to say. So we have 20 of these dudes. But we will end up having 40. Like I said, this is a, a feel-good army, you know, just to have fun with. I don't care if they die. Neither does corn. If they win a game, cool. If they don't, they still won. Kind of like forks. I'm starting to figure out how any army that loses still wins in a way. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a video on that or something. Or Know, and point out how they win. Maybe it'll help some of the uh, sword losers out there. Look, man, you didn't lose. Your army won. No, no, I lost to a cheater. No, you lost because you have crappy tactics and an attitude. And it's just a game, bruh. Pretty sure these guys will see the battlefield on the 40k battlefield more than they ever will, if ever, in the fantasy realm. Pretty positive of that. I think I've mentioned it, well I know I've mentioned it. The next Chaos Army after this one we're going to do is going to be our Slanesh Army. Um, I will go ahead and tell you, some of that will be NSFW for sure. Because I've got the older models, uh, well some of the older models. I've got some of the new ones but I've got you know a good bit of the older ones. And um, then of course the Demon Prince, she's um, definitely in it. got left after I put all of this stuff together is to make three rhinos, cast three rhinos, and then decorate them like I did the Land Raider in some way. I haven't decided how yet, but I will. I might, I might even make four rhinos, I'm not sure. Just to speed them up the battlefield kind of thing. I thought about getting crazy with like building some totems and things like that that were really tall, but I can't because I gotta watch the shelving, you know, height. And um, honestly, when you try, you know, I'm hoping to play games, you know, in stores and stuff like that, and to you know, I don't know, just to have to transport something like that that's going to get broken because it's so, you know, small and uh, 
fiddly, or whatever you want to call it. It's just not, not in the cards. And to be honest with you, some of that stuff's a little over the top in my in my opinion as far as the lore goes. I don't think, you know, I don't think that's how things really are. I don't think in the Eye of Terror they got Eye of Terror. They have time for all that kind of nonsense, but I don't know. Maybe they do since time is different. Um, then again, if I go back and I think about, um, oh gosh, was it a Blood Quest? I think that's what it's called that graphic novel series um i have it I'm pretty sure it's blood quest i got all three books um the 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 first battle in the eye of terror with the blood angels that went looking for um the sword and, and all that um they captain lysander and stuff like that they um it was pretty over the top in that battle. They had Chaos Titans and everything else, and of course everybody was fighting each other and you know, whatever. Welcome, brother renegade. Which or party do you fight for? I think is what the Chaos Marine said before Lysander told him. Was it Lysander? Wait a minute, that's not right. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, he told him, not not yours, Chaos Filth, or something like that, and he blasted him, blasted his head off his shoulders. tedious portion is cutting them free of the sprue. But we're almost done with the 20 blood reavers. I don't know if you guys can hear the TV in the background. I apologize for that. My wife is watching a movie. Probably be going to bed soon anyway. I'm not sure how much the mic picks up or if it just picks up where I'm at mostly. I guess the good news is it looks like some of these are copies of each other as far as speed goes and uh, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't take that long to put these bad boys together and that's it for both those sprues all right, let's see here. We need 32 millimeters and let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, first things first, clean up their feet and mount them on the base. Probably gonna end up 
clean up some other things too. Sorry, I was doing it the way I normally do it, not in front of the camera. Really gotta get used to that. Stay there, punk. Don't fall off. They're in a lot of dynamic running poses, which is kind of neat. I like that. going on in these bases pretty smoothly compared to other stuff we've done. Especially these ones that are at these angles with all the weight forward. spoke too soon. Here's this body double right here.
this is in fact the dull blade because I want to make sure I don't cut too deep and stuff or slip and cut myself like I said always keep one around it's worth it Now, these others that I purchased that were used, he put everything pretty much center on the base. I'm not exactly doing all that because I'm, you know, it doesn't really matter for me because they're going to be getting ripped off these bases anyway, most likely, when it's time to base the models um, so that I can make them a little more dynamic and decorate the base. Now, you may be saying to yourself, dude, I mean, you got freaking one million models. What do you care, you know, about doing all that? Well, that's that's the hobby for me. I mean, sure, when I'm playing a game, I'm not going to be looking at each one and every skull that's on the ground by their feet. But when I paint and put them together, I'll enjoy that I did that. I'll know that I did that. And anybody who wants to appreciate that work will, will definitely see it, of course. And that's, in my opinion, that's what it boils down to is what you get out of it. It doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. And I think, you know, we live in a world now where that's way too prevalent. But that's about as far as I want to go on the negativity and on my soapboxes tonight. Believe me. I could go down that rabbit hole for sure. I really don't want to. I want to leave the world out of my hobby as much as possible if I can, even though they're trying to bring it into it.
heard something today on a video, or maybe it was yesterday, where somebody made the comment, I forget who did the video, that Warhammer models were worth more on eBay if they hadn't been put together. I don't know about that. Obviously, there's a lot to the hobby, but if you think about how many people, you know, don't even get their stuff put together, like myself, um, maybe, you know, or guys that are just, you know, doing the, comp you know, the competitive tournaments, and they just buy what's out there for the meta, and that's it. Painted up with some, you know color weirdo scheme it doesn't really matter and then they got their 10 points or whatever which that that right there doesn't make any sense to me either you're gonna give 10 points for a painted army but you require a painted army with three colors I, I don't get that and I mean honestly you're gonna reward a player 10 points over the other player what if they you know for their paint army what if they just never had time to paint it what if they got into the hobby you know just to just to play like put them together glue them down and then play I just don't it, it doesn't that would be a cheesy win if you won because your army was painted and the other guys wasn't you know what I mean I wouldn't, I would not accept that victory. I would give it to the other guy. That I can assure you. I mean, I realize it's to encourage people to paint their armies, but here's the other thing. Games Workshop is basically saying, I'll give you 10 points if you advertise for me. They're making the player do all the work. Just like this new thing that came out recently where they were talking about, um, oh gosh, what was it? Um, how they were balancing their game, you know, when they, when they did the apology with the Votan or whatever the hell they're called, which was just dumb, in my opinion. Um, it was a dumb apology, it wasn't even a real one in my opinion, although a lot of people are like, oh, it's good on games workshop, no, no, you just don't, you don't understand how the world works in my opinion, um, if you believe that that was a sincere and genuine apology, they're, they're just trying to do what they can to get people, you know, on their good side, if you will, but that being said, um, where I was going with that, was uh, the players, player base doing the work. We balance our game and balance the armies based on the wins that we see. So you're waiting for, you're literally waiting for tournament players, you know, their, their results to figure out how you're gonna balance your game after all these years. You have a duty games workshop to have to staff play testers and do it yourself. And I think, I mean, I don't have any inside track info or anything like that, but I feel like if they don't start getting on the ball here with this nonsense, people are just going to start walking away. I mean, I like the, I mean, in some cases I'll say, even though I have, I just stopped buying them. And, and it's going to seem like a silly reason to some of you. I stopped buying the codexes because of the cost and how they were obsolete, you know, shortly after purchasing them. I mean, I bought the Tyranids Codex, but I didn't buy it for the game. I bought it for the lore and I bought it for the artwork. Although I will say that the new, in my opinion, the new Warhammer 40,000 logo is the worst ever. There's nothing grim dark about it. The third edition logo is so much better. That stuck with us for many, you know, many years. 
um, and that's just my my opinion. But um, yeah, I mean, and you know, people were screaming for online codex codex uh, codices or codexes, however you want to say it. And I, I heard somewhere too where they talked about how you know they could offer them for a low price or something as long as you were a part of Warhammer Plus and all this stuff. Dude, I don't want to do any of that crap. I don't want to be subscribed to that nonsense just to be able to play the damn game. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you all the 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 company that makes the game already doesn't have an army builder that's worth a damn. I mean, it's basically just, you know, for power level at the most. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, he's got something like a bone or something. Sticking. I thought for a second it was a piece of fl uh, flashing, but it's not. Almost cut it off. Um, we'll be done with this guy and his body double real fast. I do is stick that on there. And of course, I would drop it. I love when I do that. Can you tell the sarcasm in my voice? Okay. This one wants to play hardball. check this one. No, he went on there perfect. So weird. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's try to get the guys that are the same together. That will help us a little bit, I think. I know they're not all, all like that. Mm -hmm. This guy, this is the standard bearer guy, so he's going to be by himself. I'll just stick him over there. Um, this guy. Hmm, where is the trumpet, dude? I think this is him. Because his head's not back. Alright, so he'll go over there. And we got two of these dudes. We got two of these guys. Two of those. Two of those. Two of those. One of the no, there are two of these. It's just one is holding the standard, and the other is not. And I guess that's the same with the trumpet guy. All right, cool. That's okay. Um, and I'm setting them over there because I don't have the standard in the whatever at the moment. All right, so we already know that this thing goes on here. Hate it, hate it, hate it. <laughs> I hear you, brother. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, come on. Work with me. Yes, 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 no, no. Where's the second piece for that? It's even worse when you don't have the instructions. <laughs> like I don't. I don't know what happened to them. It's been so long. Mm. 
Why does it feel like I'm missing the parts of this guy? It sure does seem like it because I don't see it. I don't see another another Four guy with a... horizon. Dude, how many is that? Um, I'm putting together 20 of these blood reavers. These other ones I got off of eBay, stripped them down, repaired them. And then, so we'll have 40 blood reavers, 10 champions, um, two of these lords, but that's not, I'm using these for 40k, not, not fantasy really. Uh, two hell brutes, um, two of the, these will be exalted champions. And this is just one of three or four more vehicles I have to do. My Land Raider that I made, and I cast this Land Raider. It's not, I mean, like I literally made a mold and made my own Land Raider. And then I just put spare bits on it. And I've got two of these right now. i got to make some more. I'm done buying GW's nonsense. Soul underscore Horizon. Nice. Yep, I'm done buying their nonsense. Where the heck is that? Dude, how is that missing? Because the guy's right here, and he's got to have a furry shoulder. Unless it's a single arm development, and I'm not seeing that. Unless it's... Oh, you know what? I'll bet... What do you want to bet that there's a second arm on this sprue somewhere, or the other sprue? Okay, it's not that one. Let me see. Um. Soul underscore horizon. Yeah, that's why I hate assembly, lol. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, it's even worse when you don't have, you know, you don't have the instructions. I do not see... I don't know. It's very odd. I mean, here's the standard, and here's the horn that I need. But I am not seeing that other shoulder arm. I don't know why or how it could even be missing. Or well, I'm just not seeing it. This is crazy. Well, we'll come back to him at some point, I guess. Alright, who do we got here? So, we'll leave those over there. Got this guy. Uh, got a knife and an axe. Um, looks like it's somebody that's going to need. You know what I'm thinking? Is that I have different. No, here it is. Okay, here it is. Here's the guy. I'm starting to think do I really have different models? Is this for real? Okay, it's got some kind of face on his wrist reeve there. So if we can find that, we'll be good to go. There it is, along with his head. Sweet. That'll be two down. Yeah, I put um, I put uh, 80 blood letters together over the last couple days, and the rest of all my demons. So this is like you know, super easy. Comparison. Or less time and effort, I'll say, in comparison. Soul underscore horizon. Wow. How are you going to paint them? You mean like the color? Um, I'm not going to paint them red, I can tell you that. I'm, I just don't really like 
the way they are. I'm thinking more of like a, a molten lava black, so somewhere in a black orange scheme, something like that. Um, I just don't have any desire to do the, the red. I just I don't like it. I don't like it. There's that arm that he put on this dude. Yeah, okay. So we're not missing the sprue. So that's that's a good thing. channel um, wait so all right you're not new to the channel I don't think I was gonna say if you are go back and look at my very first video and then you'll see what I'm really tackling if you will I just saw a piece that I needed there it is Fortress. I have about 45 minis to get through. That's not too bad. I still got to put that together myself. Huh, I think I, oh yeah, I, I assembled, I assembled all the character so models, I think. Horizon. What paints do you use? Oh boy. Um, well, I, I use Army Painter. I use, um, uh, Citadel Paints, Vallejo, uh, Privateer Press, or P3 Paints, um, and believe it or not, sometimes I use Apple Barrel from Walmart. <laughs> I'm not even joking. As long as you thin the stuff down, you can get great results. But it, it's really not about... I mean, and I guess you could say, you could argue in some ways it is about the paint, but I know guys, and I'm not knocking their paint jobs, they're just not very skilled at it. They don't put the time in and force, and they'll tell you that, you know, they don't practice enough. And they've got nothing but Citadel paints, which is supposed to be the best out there, if you will. And it's not very, you know, it's not very good, you know, their results. I mean, my very first Space Wolf army, I was talking about this last night, it was basically spray painted gray and a couple of highlights and that was it. And that was back in 98 or 99 and it looked awesome. I saw something here that I'm looking for. I thought I was looking for it. Here's a little head. I don't see it on any of those guys though. Nope. Maybe I'll wait on that. I don't like it anyway. Um, yep. 
Okay, we'll set that down. I'm tired of looking at it. I want to get to assembling some stuff here and get it out of, get it out of my row. underscore horizon yet I'm really focusing in on the art aspect of the hobby I want to level up my painting I just painted you are 025 and the results are just okay going to practice on those free minis I got when I visited the GW store well um, let me give you some very valuable advice if I can the first thing is don't worry about the result and let me tell you why because you can turn right around and strip that thing in no time um, I don't know where you're located at if you're in the United States or if you're abroad um, are you in the United States that'll help a little bit If you're in the United States, you need to go to the Dollar General store, or basically you could probably find it online and order this stuff. It's called LA's Totally Awesome. Hold on one second. I'm gonna grab a bottle and show you. This stuff right here. See if I can get it close enough to the camera. LA is totally awesome. This stuff right here will strip the paint off of your minis, no problem. Just let it soak for a while. Um, if you want to get an ultrasonic cleaner, and I don't mean one of the little cheap ones, that'll help as well. Um, that's ever since I bought this more this one off of eBay. I'm, I'm working on a video to show you guys. And have all the details down for you and stuff. Um, I mean, dude, and stripping minis like crazy. I, I've basically stripped entire armies now. Um, that's exactly what happened with all these in the black here. That they're just stained from the black, but the details back, you know, like the paints off of it. Um, what was I doing with this guy? Anyway, um, that stuff will help you out just strip your model down it won't hurt the plastic at all wash it clean and it's all it is is a, is a cleaner and it has no residual smell to it once you get off once you wash you know rinse it clean and let it dry and repaint your model you know so it's not like you know you you've lost anything you know it's not like oh crap I painted this model and it's crappy I don't like the way it looks and now um, you know, this is the way it's going to be forever. That's not the case at all. all right, so we need this goes on this guy. I was hoping this was going to go a little faster than this, but I guess in some ways it is kind of going fast because I'm just looking and finding the part, but. I've tried everything, man, from brake fluid to purple power to simple green and all that kind of stuff. And I've left models in a mason jar in LA's Totally Awesome for months on end. 
and nothing happens to them other than maybe your, your you know the glue coming apart and then you got to reassemble the model but who cares about that where's this guy there he is so that is an axe with a skull on the head Um, I would say it depends on, I don't know, I guess it would, I mean, if you want to get good at painting, you know, contrast paints is a totally different skill, if you will, and you gotta, you gotta practice with that too, because you gotta be able to make sure that, you know, your flow, as you put the, you know, the contrast paints on, um, you know, it doesn't gather where it shouldn't, you know, and, you know, too strong. Uh, you keep it flowing so that it doesn't stain, and, you know, and covers like it's supposed to, meaning it doesn't have the stain, you know, outline or mark, and, that, and all that takes practice. Um, it could get you, you know, pretty far if you don't care. I mean, if you're trying to really focus on the painting aspect of it, you know, and being good, a good artist, then I would just you know paint with regular paint if you just want to get a battle ready ready army on the table sure throw that contrast on there um, just make sure you do it right you know make sure you prime correctly and all that and and go to it man I mean it, it's kind of like I've said many times on this channel and I might even said it tonight it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks to be completely honest with you it's what you're happy with and if, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I ask my wife for opinions all the time, um, mainly because, you know, I, I do want somebody's opinion, you know, hers really. Um, and sometimes I kind of get wrapped up in my own head. But ultimately, you know, you're it, you're the one that's gonna have to live with it. And as long as you can be happy with that, dude, it doesn't matter. Hopefully I answered your question. For some reason this guy's arm does not want to go. Oh, there it goes. Dang, it didn't want to go on for some reason. So underscore horizon. Yes, you did thank you for the advice. Yeah, and I think you'll be happier too, you know, in your modeling. You no, know, I mean like look at these guys, man. They're not I mean they obviously aren't chaos space marines. But by the time I get through putting some shoulder pauldrons on them and things like that, I mean, who knows what they went through in the war? And it, you know, and, it, and I've never liked the corn models to begin with. I never really liked any of the chaos models, to be completely honest with you. And it, it's just, you know, I mean, ultimately, I'm the one that has to live with it. And if I can have fun with the army, win or lose, who cares? That's the way I'm looking at it. I'm not really, I don't know, I mean, I'm sure when I was younger, I, I put more emphasis on winning. I know I was really good at list building and things like that, but I, I, I haven't even played a game in forever. Don't know if I, I'll ever get a chance to do it with anybody else, you know, on any real level. I mean, I play on Tabletop Simulator with a friend of mine who doesn't know anything about the hobby. He just knows what he has to do, and we have fun together. And it's just Space Marines on Space Marines because that's all he knows. And pretty much all he's got time for right now, plus doesn't want to, and I don't blame him, invest in models. But he doesn't need to invest in models because I have basically everything. I, I don't have Votan and I have no no desire to, to be completely honest with you. But um, you know, who knows, maybe that'll change. Where is this guy right here? He's back here. So he's got a knife that has three corn, looks like a corn symbol on it. Right, 
that's not a corn skull, so that's not the right knife there. No, nope. that's a corn skull. Nope, that's the one because it's got. I gotta finish the shoulder, the shoulder pad. All right, cool. Got it. Making some progress here. guy with his dagger out it's this guy so we need an axe with a corn symbol on it and we need the head so looks like the head comes with it so that makes that easy cool Easier. Looks like we may need to grab some more glue. Pretty sure we do. Soul underscore horizon. Hmm. Do you own any imperial knife? <laughs> yeah. Um, eighteen of them. I still have a bunch to put together. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, four put together right now. I guess 19. I forgot about the Chaos Knight. That's, oops, my goodness. I forgot about the uh, the Chaos Knight that I have soaking over here. That's a Forge World one. What's the largest knight you have? The largest knight? They're all the same size. Oh, wait a minute. No, they're not. Um, I just have the the ones that came out initially. I, I don't really have any interest in getting the... Uh, um, yeah, I don't have that one. Um, I just have the... Let's see, I have a Warden and the Knight Gallants. And then, the, you know, the ones that are based off of the, the Knight Gallant frame. I'll put it that way. That's what I have. I don't really like the look of the other ones. Um... I don't know. I think that the Games Workshop was reaching on those. I think they were just trying to make make a quick buck. <laughs> they don't look good to me at all. Yeah, we need some more glue. Let me throw this away and break out another one. underscore horizon do you have your own custom chapter or is it an established house from the lore so I have my own custom chapter it belongs it's well okay so it belongs or its origins are from the dark angels uh, not a successor chapter but more of a the story behind them um, of course, Games Workshop kind of ruined it because I used to call them. And this is funny because I was talking about this stuff last night. Um, King, I used to call them the Soul Reapers, and then Games Workshop, like three or four years after that, I did that, made you know some fiction or whatever with a Space Marines chapter that was named Soul Soul Reapers. So I had to change that because I wanted it to be my own. So I just made it Soul Keepers, and they are not Renegade but you know they were sucked into the warp uh along with you know basically these were you know they were the fighting was you know so fierce you know hand to hand stuff like that that there was basically no separating these guys from the chaos you know or, or the dark angels like you know that got sucked into the warp on caliban before it was destroyed 
Um, and that, you know, and that's something in the lore I always thought was stupid that they were the only ones that, you know, I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but you know, it is what it is. And, um, one, one thing that they do to keep themselves going there, there's a hidden agenda or say hidden agenda. It's, it's not well known and I'm kind of breaking my own rule here. I was going to wait to publish the story and everything, but I'll just tell you a little bit of it. They are supported by the Imperium in a way, and I'll leave it at that, but they're not supported to the point of like the newest thing. They're, you know, they're not like a, a Grey Knight wannabe group or any of that kind of nonsense. But one thing that they do partake in or do is they use, um, they have learned how to use Eldar soul stones for their own benefit. And it's not like an OP mo uh, army or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's one of the things that protects them. And, I, and I'm not going to go into detail on it right now, but it's one of the things that protects them when they go back into the warp to to fight. And that's where they mostly hang out, is taking the fight to chaos in the warp. Um, if that helps any. I've, I've had that army at least the idea and since probably 99 I think 1999 okay what do you belong to because I've already put you on somebody custom I don't have I, I I want them all to be free blades in a way um, at least for now and uh, the, the two night wardens that I have that are assigned to my Krieg death core they're definitely free blades um, because you know the, the nature of Krieg constantly being deployed everywhere so I just really like that model. I like that model over the gallon, sure. I mean, I like the power fist and I like the helmet that, I mean the helmet, the face plate or whatever that I put on it. Okay, what, what is going on here, man? We're like, we're losing our minds here. Soul underscore horizon. Can you have a free blade knight in any army? I think so. Pretty sure. I don't think you have to take a house unless you're let me think about that um, I don't know if you can have free blade in Adeptus Mechanicus that's one I'm not sure of because I'm pretty sure that when you take it in Imperial Knight you take them as one or you know a group up to three I think uh, I'm not a duty expert on that one. Oh, look at, lo and behold, we've been looking all over for you, freaking loser. Gosh, I knew he was going to show up at the end. Jeez. Way to slow down the process, buddy. Alright, now we got to figure out... Four heads. This is an extra part because I put so that. Under Sword Horizon. Ikea, those traitor guardsmen were a pain in the ass to assemble. Traitor guardsmen. Oh, you mean on the, the Blackstone Fortress? Yeah. 
I just got through also um, about three or four days ago I finished putting together all of my Nurgle stuff well except for one stupid plague bearer that I found the body sitting on the floor apparently um, and two little Nurglings are left oh and a um, beast of Nurgle that's an old model that's down in the uh, strainer down here um, so those those little bits but um, I put together 260 pox walkers if that tells you anything <laughs> that sucked I ain't gonna lie and it sucks even moving them okay so this guy's got a little dagger thing and it's got little teeth on it soul underscore horizon wow man how do you paint that many just airbrush I'll airbrush um, because they're gonna die real fast and I'm gonna use them for all kinds of things like zombies and you know whatever um, I'll probably you know I'm gonna I'll prime them then I'll probably airbrush and then I'll probably go over them with oh some uh, sorry about that some uh, known oil or something like that but I want to have multiple colors they're gonna be very pale um, so they'll stand out with some purples and greens and things like that um, well okay I say that but I want things to be a little more grim dark not the complete grim dark painting style but you know relatively close to that idea I don't want it to be so dirty it just looks like a brown blob on the table if that makes sense I don't have anything around here but what you can do if it's still there it should still be there you can go on discord on my discord channel let's see where I have that I will guide you to it um, I have a couple on there I believe yes so if you go to artwork Oh wait, no. Well, yeah, I painted those. Oh my gosh, man, I am just crazy with this camera tonight. Um, those, those salamanders, that painted army, that was all. That was completely dry brushed. Every every color on there is dry brushed. That was back in 2003. Um, that's not the one. I want to show you. Where is it? Not exactly sure. Actually, you can see the pox walkers in general chat. <laughs> um, I thought I had it on here. I'll tell you something you, you might be able to do I don't know if you have Twitter I'm suspended off of Twitter at the moment uh, have been since April <laughs> um, but that's okay um, if you go to angry badger minis on Twitter I do have some pictures on there for sure um, I just thought for some reason I put them on here this is also my new computer but it shouldn't be a, shouldn't be an issue um, No. Uh, I could have swore I had something in there. I guess not. I don't know. Maybe I deleted it or something. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I know. Oh man, it's gonna be a long way. I showed somebody else what I was doing 
so it wasn't on my channel per se. Hold on, I might be able to find it on here if you don't find it on Twitter. Uh, where are you? And I and the, the the sad part is in a way that I I took the hive tyrant that you'll see and he is now stripped clean to be repainted. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, what? Why did you do that? Because I want him to match with all my oh, uh, out of print army stuff. Come on, how far back is it? Or would it be? Well, if you saw that on Discord, you need to look at the very first YouTube video. That's just one cabinet. And then you would see how much I'm putting together. Because that's not even... Plus, you know, you would see some of the other armies I've put together um, and all that. Gosh, man, where is this thing? I know I showed him these models because I just got them back like three or four, five months ago, something like that. Maybe it was longer, I don't know. I'm scrolling like a madman. Just saw your Warhound. What other Titans do you own? Well, you, are you looking at the Nurgle Warhound or the other one? Because I've got, um, that Nurgle Warhound is a proxy one from a guy that uh, I bought off of eBay a long time ago. It wasn't a Warhound at all. Um, it was just like a Chaos Reaver style Titan and Games Workshop told him to stop producing them. But I have, um, that's why I'm telling you to go, go to that, uh, that video, but, um, I've got a Lucius Pattern Warhound. Um, I've got the Nurgle Warhound that I made. I've got um, two Titan Manufactorum War, uh, Lucius Pattern style Warhound Titans. I mean Warlord Titans that are almost 30 inches tall. So they're taller than the Forge World one and they're bigger. They're, they're as big as a small child. I'm not even kidding. Like a toddler. I can't believe I can't find this. Soul underscore horizon. How did you get the Warlord Titan? Uh, it was a, a company called the Titan Manufactorum that was building them. They were out of Greece. And bought that back in... Hmm. I guess that would have been 2014. Took uh, about six months for them both to get here. I got both of them for 75% of what it would cost you for one Warlord Titan from Forge World. Well, excuse me, from Forge World. And um, um, I think they don't make those anymore. I think they just do like 3D printing at like epic scale or something like that. Like 40K epic. So. No, um, they're, um, they're foam insulated, like foam insulation as far as the, the core structure, and then it's FDM 3D printed uh, plates that, get, that were glued on top of it. But they're really, I mean, for what they are, they're really cool. And I can't find it. You'll have to, you'll have to go on my Twitter and look where the pictures are. I kind of kept them at the very top. Um, on that Warlord or Warhound Titan for Nurgle, um, all of those pieces, um, I, they they are cast from the body of the Glotkin, 
and then I cast the uh, plasma cannon or plasma blast or whatever the hell you call it and the mega multi bolter thing so all of that was cast so those are you know he had different arms that just didn't work out so anyway I'm getting distracted here oh my gosh freaking arm what the heck's going on here Connection. And then these guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do we have these arms? Well, he doesn't have an arm. Okay, so he's gonna get. This guy almost looks like a friggin' dark Eldar guy. Saw easy. He came off the base. That's why I glue them like that. So I'll be able to just do that when the time comes when I want to figure out what base I'm going to use. Uh, let's see. Or I mean basing material is what I meant to say. heads on. So the story with these guys in my mind As to why they're not wearing all the crazy space marine armor is they're all trying to gain the favor of corn as much as humanly possible if that's even a I don't know if that's a pun or not but by showing they don't need all that while they slaughter in his name that's what I'm going with okay so where is that there he is. So this arm. Yep, I grabbed the right one. Cool. Just like that, they're all put together. The Blood Reavers are anyway. Got these extra parts here. Um, I don't ever throw anything away. Uh, that reminds me, I gotta make another couple banners. 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. No, maybe I won't. Maybe it'll just be bannerless. I don't really need it. I'm not really trying to, like I said, to win anything. All right, cool. So these guys are all done. So that's cool. Now I don't need to hold on to these guys out here. I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm gonna paint all these guys or prime these black ones so that they're gray in the shelf so you can see the detail better. And I have to fix this uh, Hell Brute because his leg was not put together correctly. That's okay. Oh wait, what am I doing? Crap. I need these guys out to put the other guys together. Okay, so these guys are all done. Slip them in here. Honestly, wasn't sure how smooth that would or would not go. But it appears that it went genuinely smooth. Okay. So now we got this dude and his dog. But the dog, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to take this one off the base because. This is not the correct base. It was supposed to be on a circle base, apparently. Um, but, I don't know. Um, at least that's what the box shows. So, um, I don't have any of those bases, but I do have round bases. And I'm trying to remember what the hell this dude is called. Let me look it up real quick. You have to bear with me while I look up Wahapedia. They typically have the right base sizes. So Age of Sigmar. Blades of Corn, I guess. Sixty millimeter base size. This is the circle. We have those. Um, we have a bunch of them. Let me just grab it real quick. I think I'm gonna try to get that guy off his base. What well, before I do this? It's probably gonna be a pain and I'm probably gonna break it. That's okay. Hopefully I don't cut myself. I'm gonna have to use a sharper one. JB Weld or Blue? Holy crap. Man, that was on there, boy. 
hoping I can preserve the base at the same time, but I don't know. Man. This is really glued down. salvage the base that would be great. I just feel like I need a damn box cutter. <laughs> I'd never get the blade in there. I'll try this at home kids. I'm trying to make sure that I don't push forward and stab myself. Small flathead screwdriver. I think if I can get this part right here off, the rest should be relatively simple. This man, definitely putting the work in. Getting there, it's just slow going. off but oh well if I can save the rest of the base I can patch that up no problem whatever glue he used holy oh, smokes man it's crazy I mean super crazy basically have to cut cut a hole cut the a hole in this to get it off and then I'm gonna have to patch it up but you wouldn't even know you know once it's over but but having the um, the round you know the the outline of the base is critical to saving it Yeah, he glued the crap out of this, man. I don't know why. I don't really need to do that. Mm. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, nice hole in it. It's all right. Now if we can just get this guy off without breaking his leg. I think we'll be in business. Ah, damn. I'm telling you, man, whatever glue you got here, man, it could hold up skyscrapers. Good grief. Mm. Don't need nails with this. Maybe that's what he used liquid nails or something. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> there we go. All right, cool. We can patch that up, no problem. Holy hell! All right, now 
Now I gotta cut off this excess here. That will also help save some room in my shelf. For sure. I think this is plastic cement. I think this is something else. Whatever it is, it's it's crazy is what it is. Damn. Well, that being said, we're gonna sand this off probably. Let's see if I can do it. I'm not gonna have it in front of the camera. It's just too cumbersome to do that. Actually, I need a, I need a more coarse grade. Well, at least we got it off. That's really all that matters. Build that up with something green stuff or something. Ooh, kind of broke that a little bit. Guess I got my hand on it or something. This chain there. Add some glue. roll with that and I'll just put a little bit of glue here. Soul underscore horizon. Wow that's an awesome model. That's a paint did you see me trying to get this thing off? Ugh he died. Or what model are you talking about? guess would be the question. Soul underscore horizon. That one with the dog. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. When I when I get mine put together, I mean. Soul underscore horizon. Dog from hell. Yeah. From the first edition Age of Sigmar box set. When Age of Sigmar first came out. Stormcast Eternals versus Chaos, basically. Use that guy to support him until it glues. All I'll do with this is I'll just take some plastic card or something like that and lay it across. Like I'll sand this down real good and then I'll just put, you know, plastic card over top of that hole and um, 
And then once you base over top of it, you won't even, you won't even know what happened. But I actually think I need this base for Slanesh for some reason. Soul underscore horizon. Good idea. Oh my gosh, come on. You know what? This is an aftermarket base. It's not a game workshop one, so it's kind of... I don't know. But let's see if I can give him some stability by adding his Soul dog. Soul Horizon. Did you ever play Adeptus Titanicus? Adeptus Titanicus? I have a ton of that stuff. Um, I played it once or twice, and then I play Adeptus Titanicus Dominus on Steam, which they don't have anymore. Um, I enjoy it though, and and that's like what my ultimate goal, besides getting all my models put together and painted, of course, is I want to have a full-on chapter of of uh, Space Marines. Chaos, or at least, you know, like, call it Horus Heresy, you know, whatever, um, and Tyranids at the, uh, 8 to 10 millimeter level, um, really 8 millimeter is what I want, um, because I, I'm real big on the scale of things, so, hopefully that will work. or not so I've got a friend of mine that's making 3d stuff for me oh, looks like this I didn't realize his base was messed up let's so see under sport horizon. cool I hope they revive epic yeah me too although by then I'll probably already have everything and I won't want to buy it Base somehow messed up a little. I didn't realize that. Eh, it's fine. It'll work. Probably gonna die right away. I don't feel. Soul underscore horizon. Is tomorrow warmer day? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Let's find out. We can go to. Um, I guess Warhammer website I don't really I don't really pay attention to that stuff let's see uh, I'm not seeing anything it says War wait Warhammer Day preview watch the preview at 2 p.m. on Saturday yeah I guess so British Standard Time Celebrating 35 years. It depends on what I got going on because I got I, I work pretty much seven days a week, um, and then of course during the day you know my little kids are running around and stuff so I don't know if you guys would want to see me live reacting to this with little kids running around. Um, I like the model that they're trying to give away I guess but. I don't know if I want to buy it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Let me see here. I'm not even, it says it's available, like you can, I guess, 
buy it online, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Let me see. At your local warmer store and through Games Workshop web store. You can pre-order it from the 8th of October. And it will be on sale from the 15th until the 23rd. Well, I don't see it in the pre-orders, bro. Unless it's in Warhammer 4. Nope, not in pre-orders. Not in new and exclusive. Maybe they just haven't updated the website. I don't. I don't see it. I wonder how much it's gonna cost. Probably like 60 bucks. I'm not paying that for that model. That's like the Grey Knight. Um, oh gosh, what is his name? Castle and Crow. I made my own model. And it's a lot better than the one GW made. Ah, oh, God, I thought you were glued down. You were sticky enough. Thought his arm was glued too, but apparently not. Let's try that again. I really want to get you out of my way so I can start putting my shit together. I mean, I could use some damn zip kicker here, but I don't feel like it. Do you do commissions? Um, I haven't in a long time. And it's something that I've thought about doing again, um, but I don't have anything at the moment to, like I don't have a portfolio handy anymore after we moved, so, um, but I'm definitely, it's definitely on my, my list of things that I'd like to do. Again, I do miss it. Why, you don't want to paint? <laughs> Can't learn to paint if you don't paint. Dull underscore horizon. I don't like assembling LOL. Well, you want to pay me to assemble your models, I can do it. <laughs> Wait, I'm cutting the wrong guy out. Dang it. you saw how much I've assembled and put together, it'd probably drive you nuts. Soul underscore horizon. Thanks for the tips. Where yeah. can I find your painted models? Twitter? I, yeah, that's where I would go on Twitter on Angry Badger uh, Minis. Um, I think it's angry underscore badger underscore minis. Um, like I said, I'm suspended off of Twitter. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can pull it up. At least to get the name. Maybe, maybe when Elon Musk takes over Twitter, I'll be unsuspended. Oh, no. It's angry minis. No, wait. Wait, what? No. Yeah, so at angry minis. Or Angry Badger Minis, and it's got the same, you know, badger or whatever. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still banned. <laughs> Somebody tried to start an argument with me, and they lost heavily, so they reported me, and Twitter took their side. And they're like, well, you can take, if you take your comments down, you know, then, you know, uh, then you'll be unbanned. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. Not going to do it. I'm not going to let them win. And I don't, I mean, I don't need to live on Twitter anyway. Like I said, when e Elon Musk, I think, took over Twitter today or something, so maybe I'll be unbanned. Especially since the topic was about South, South Africa, and the person was basically 
had no idea what they were even talking about, and he's the from South Africa. Political. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't start it, I'll put it that way, but I finished it. I don't, I don't have time for that nonsense, but... I'm not going to stand there and, or sit there and, you know, I mean, there's just, there's just a lot of dumb people in the world and they, they, and they think the crazy part is they think they know the world and they don't. And I do, I mean, I know you don't know anything about me, but you know, I've been in special operations 30 years and, or was, and I mean, I'm sorry, but some little college person you know, is not going to tell me what's really going on in the world when I've been there. And it, and it what you know, it'd be one thing if they wanted to have a discussion, but that's not the route it went. in an old photo because now it's stripped <laughs> I have so many more tyrannids to put together oh my gosh not even funny my tyrannids will take up two full cases Ikea cases on their own And that's with me trying to cram them in there the best I can. Well, I think we're going to get this guy put together. And then we're going to have to call it a night. standard bearer guy. Like an idiot. Over here cutting, just cutting and cutting and cutting. That's what happens, I guess. Dog. Let's see, there's... I don't know where this spinal column thing is or what it goes to. It goes to this guy. Oh yeah, it hangs off the back of his head. Okay. So that'll go with him. Now this goes with him. Nope. Wait. Now this is to him. Now this. get this warlord dude put together.
What are you looking for? Like, is there something that draws you to the Space Marines in general? That would be the first thing I would think about. Like, for instance, my favorite chapter is the Salamanders. And it's solely because... Oh my gosh, I don't know if I just knocked that or not. It's solely because they, you know, value human life more than any other Space Marine chapter. So they'll do whatever it takes to, you know, save humans. Where other Space Marine chapters don't view it as mission essential. If that makes sense. Um... And then my second one would be the Iron Snakes, which are actually a successor chapter of the Ultramarines, I believe. But I just kind of discount that. You know, like, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't like the Ultramarines. Um, and then, of course, Dark Angels was one of my first. Space Wolves, of course. Um... I like Blood Angels, but I like Flesh Terrors, not necessarily the home chapter or progenitor chapter, however the hell you say it. Oh, come on. What is going on here? Get in there. You're just being a pain right now. Also, like, what kind of tactics do you want to use? Do you want to do it for uh, for match play, just narrative, lore, you know, stuff like that? Or should you make your own chapter, which is always an option, as you already know. It's, a, it's an interesting thing not having the instructions, for sure. It's like putting a puzzle together while looking at another puzzle. Or a completed puzzle.
call it anything, I'd say it's his knee. Double points for anybody who knows what movie that came from. Yeah. I'll give you another clue. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Gatorade. H2O. Jokero Jim, are you familiar with the Dark Angel Veteran Company Sprue? A little bit. Why, right, what's up? are we talking about come on dude what is going on here why is this such a pain it doesn't even go together shit together but I know I have a bunch of parts um, I think it's part of the I think it was just part of the damn uh, oh hell what are they called now because I had the same same issue Got a, I got a bunch of Dark Angels, Terminator legs, and no bodies and stuff. Um, it's some retinue or whatever that they, the Command Squad or something like that that it's part of with the Apothecary Terminator and things like that. I don't remember exactly. Joker Jim. Upgrade Sprue. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't think they make it anymore because I've had this stuff forever. But it was like in a bag, like a whole big thing with all kinds of fucking upgrades. I mean, it had a ton of upgrades. I mean, I've got boxes of Dark Angels upgrades right now. And I mean boxes. It's just crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from like the command, command type thing, or it was part of it at some point. Jokero Jim, yeah. do you think the Primaris 
need more variation between chapters model wise. I find the upgrade screws not too good. Um, yeah, they're not very good. Um, in my opinion. Uh, I think you're going to see that eventually. Games Workshop's going to get away from the firstborn at some point. I don't know. Probably in the next five or ten years. Um, because, you know, the heroic scale and all that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, the Primaris look amazing. Uh, I love the scale of them, you know, next to Guard and Sisters and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I think you're also going to see, and you can definitely mark my words on this one, is you're going to see the scale and everything get bigger. Instead of staying, you know, true to size and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure about whether or not, you know, the Primaris need anything new. But I think it's going to happen regardless. Because I think right now, hell, I think right now Games Workshop is just, they're just doing what they can to appease the current base as far as the firstborn are concerned like myself that has thousands of firstborn firstborn models um, so that they don't just completely drive us away from the hobby and that hopefully we'll eventually you know just buy into the you know completely into primaris and i mean i have a ton of primaris and i have more coming because of the imperium subscription but they're I mean, I'm, I'm not buying them like to be like super competitive or anything like that. I bought them because it was a chance to get a bunch of models. I'm probably not going to mix them in with my firstborn. And, you know, I don't know if I'm making sense at the moment, but that's basically my take on it. I think some of the stuff that they've done is stupid. Like, why can't firstborn Marines get inside a repulsor tank? You know, that's just dumb. Um, why would why would there not have been... Well, I mean, why can't Primaris get in a drop pod? The drop pods existed back when we had Primarchs, for crying out loud. You know what I mean? I mean, when there were multiple Primarchs and stuff. And it should be able to fit them. Um, I mean, the model doesn't you know, showcase that, of course, but. I realize that that little piece goes in there. I'm having a hard time getting it to match up correctly. To where, yeah. Yeah, you're a pain in my ass, Joker dude. Jim. I do like the design as well. I heard their introduction to the lore was botched. Um, yeah, it's pretty lame. Um, I mean, all things considered, but basically, well, I don't even know if I want to go down this rabbit hole right now, but, um, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on how to make this work because I don't have the instructions, but um, it's just like, you know, this whole time, you know, uh, Belisarius Call has been making these Primaris even before Gilliman, you know, came back. So he's just been breaking, breaking the law, if you will, this whole time, and getting away with it um, I think we're gonna see a, a Horus Heresy 2.0 um, between Primaris and Firstborn like on a huge scale not just the Black Templars you know killing a shit ton of them you know because they think that they're an abomination to the Emperor's work um, and then again you also saw if you remember when I'm trying to remember the the chapter I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but they um 
I don't know, they were they were declared, you know, renegade or excommunicatus or whatever, and right then and there, the custodes killed off, you know, the primaris that were going to be sent to them to reinforce them. They just killed them. Um, all right. Why am I having all these diff I couldn't get you to glue and now I can't get you off. Now I'm having this problem. I'm starting to wonder if it was the glass. I mean the glass, the plastic that they used. I don't know. Right. Well, we're just going to have to work. We're going to have to figure something out here. This is really becoming a problem for me. Hey. Blaze. Gosh, man. There's nothing like people's dogs that have no discipline or animals that have no discipline. Jim. Most annoying model to build. Smirking face. This one? No. I wish I could say he was, but he's not. There's been quite a few of them that have been annoying. So. But we got it. So that's all that matters. And then all we've got left for troops would be the standard bear guy, the hell brute. Well, all we got is, I mean, I could show you exactly what we got. We got five, how many? Yeah, five of these dudes. Um, five of these dudes, this guy, the hell brute, and then that's it for corn troops. Um, and then I've got, oh, and you didn't see this, uh, Joker Row. Um, hold on, let me just move this shit out of the way. Um, oh, we gotta build this guy. And, um, I need to cast three, three or four rhinos, um, for this army. Sorry, I try to keep my stuff clean, not just for having a clean desk, but also little kids come in here and want to spend time with me. I built, or I decorated this that I made a long time ago. Um, you know, this is a, a cast Land Raider, it's completely plastic. I made a mold of a Land Raider and and it's been sitting around and I decided with all these extra corn parts I would throw this stuff on here. And now we have a corn land raider. Similar in some ways to how I decorated some of my space marine chapters. And then like my space wolf one, I put this on top um, for the gun turret so it can be whatever gun I want it to be. It can be a, you know, Havoc missile launcher, it can be a freaking, you know, melt a gun, whatever. Joker doesn't matter. Jim. Ah, very nice. Are you a fan of kid bashing? Absolutely. I think you should make whatever your heart desires. You should do whatever you want. I mean, if you take a look at this corn army, I'm basically basically that's what I'm doing even though I'm not kit bashing those models per se 
they are going to be my corn berserkers and my chosen and stuff versus the you know the way the uh, current stuff is and I still have the old old ass Karn of Betrayer looking forward to painting him up too again <laughs> they stripped his ass too Got some stuff done tonight. That's a good thing. Got a bunch of water condensation on the damn table there. Mess up my wood. Yeah, so not much left to do on this box set as far as corn goes. And then we've got a ton of Stormcast Eternals to put together. They're going to be like probably the last AOS or Fantasy Army I put together. I am not excited for those models at all. They don't do anything for me. And they just don't. They're just blah. I don't know. Don't know, man. Just doesn't do anything for me. But this is pretty cool. I haven't. I'm, I'm still not sold on on these pieces right here on the front. Like I said in the beginning of this live stream, I'm hoping they'll grow on me. Maybe they'll look better when they're painted, I don't know. But my army's not gonna be like all red. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm gonna do like remnants of the word bearers colors with red on, on it. So there'll be some white armor, if you will, and stuff like that. Just the whole red thing just doesn't, I don't like it. I mean word bearers, world eaters, Jesus. I'm got a few of the old corn uh, berserkers around. I want to incorporate them into this army as well. I mean, I, when I say a few, I mean like three or four. Um, they were basically given to me. Ooh, I just saw the Angron uh, model. Hmm. Like, I need another giant demon for this army. But he is a Primarch. Space Marines. I don't need any cultists. I've got a ton of those. Chaos Space Marine Combat Patrol is 150 bucks. What the? Jokero Jim. My only problem with Angren is those weird hairs on his wings. Mortarian has his as well. Let me see. Weird hairs on his Joker wings. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. I don't know. And I didn't notice him on my Mortarian, but I'm, I believe you. $60. L listen to this. $60. Four, two, four, six, eight, ten Chaos Space Marines. Or sixty dollars for five Havocs. What? And sixty dollars for five Chaos Space uh, Space Marine Terminators. Absolutely stupid. 
I remember when a box of 10 Space Marines cost $25. Chaos Land Raider, $85. That's why I did this. I can make as many of these as I want. That's exactly why I did that. Joker Jim. My worst priced models are Orc Megonauts. I bought, I, I don't have any Games Workshop ones. I got the uh, Cromlick ones. They're so much cooler to me. Noise Marine Sonic Weapons. I was going to make my own. Kind of. I don't know if I want to buy any from them though. Let's see here. There's a new Karn Betrayer model. Eh, that's alright. I, I don't think it's worth buying, honestly. Um, I'm still not seeing this Angron model. That's what I'm looking for. Corn Berserkers. They're the same old models. Bleh. Kill Team Legionnaires. 65 bucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you went, 50, you went $5 more because you included a dude with a freaking Reaper auto cannon. Come on, dude. Come on. Defiler, 80 bucks. Oh my god. I bought mine for half Joker that. Jim. Have you seen the new Corn Berserkers? No. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see Angron in here at all. Maybe he's not released yet. Not in pre-orders, not in new releases. A stupid Ravager costs 60 bucks? Come on. Joker Jim. There's a trailer on YouTube showcasing Angren and there's one for the Berserkers. Let me see, maybe I can just Joker O Jim. There'll probably be a 10th edition release. Well, I mean, possibility. I wonder how strong the, or how true and strong the rumor is that 10th um, edition will be the last edition. Oh, I just saw a new corn berserker. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, the friggin' axe is huge. That's a big axe. It's a little, I don't know. I don't understand why their face is so so much different. I don't know. Weird. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking of making my own noise marine gun and then just making, you know, a mold, uh, uh, insta mold of it. Or just doing something quick that could look like a... I mean, because these noise marines, God, they look horrible. I mean, I know the front of it's supposed to be like a, a face, you know, and all that. And, you know, with the mouth and the speaker and all that. But... Ooh. $55 for a Hellhound. Come on, dude. Blood Angels Librarian and Terminator Armor, $35. Adeptus Titanicus Warlord Battle Titan, 112 bucks for one. Oh, the one model I've been waiting to get that's finally in stock. The Mutilith Vortex Beast. I just wanted to paint it. I mean, I don't even know what I would ever use it for, but it's $85 now. That's so stupid. Jim, there's a rumor that world eaters might get new obliterators and mutilators. 
that would be cool if it fit more you know in their uh, excuse me in their style Oh my god, that snail I put together is 60 bucks by himself. That model's like, I mean, my god, it's not much bigger than, than this. $60, are you kidding me? What is Games Workshop thinking? Joker Ocean. Down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, I can get 15 Space Wolf Blood Claws for 55 bucks. There's a bunch of Corn Berserkers if you want to do it that way. 15. So stupid. Oh my god, three Plague Marine. Are you ready for this? They're calling it Plague Marine reinforcements. Three of them, $42. The Guitar Chaos Space Marine, Noise Marine, is 38 bucks. It's 16, but yeah, I mean, there. I would still say no because I got mine. I think for I bought all. I bought all those crude as a crude army. Um, yeah, I think I bought them for like $24 or something like that back in the day. And even that, even this. If you look at these crude at $38 for 16 models, explain why 10 Chaos Space Marines, you know, cost 60. You know what I mean? It's not like they're, you know, more plastic. It's just garbage. And some of these characters, I don't know if they're Citadel fine, you know, fine crap or fine cast. <laughs> however you want to say it, or if they're plastic. Emperor's Children, Lucius the Eternal. So how do you make him fit in with the new Chaos Space Marines? Ooh, Night Lord's Chaos Lord. Dude's got giant bat wings on his head. That is an old model, boy. Noise Marine upgrade pack. You get a helmet, an arm, either a heavy weapon. Yeah, for sure. He definitely needs to be remade. Dude, I'm so glad I bought what I bought when I bought it. Dude, half these models that I own, uh, dude, I would never pay $70 for a Soul Grinder. I have two of them. They'll be with the Slanesh Army. Necromunda 25mm base is $7, temporarily out of stock, and you get 3, 6, you get 10 bases. 
I turned around and, and made copies of some. Now I can make as many as I want. I know, I know. You shouldn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, man. As much money as I've given Games Workshop, I have no no regrets. Jokero Jim, which models do you think are still worth the money? You mean the prices that they have? None. <laughs> I think they need to go back to the 90s prices. And I can guarantee you if they did that, they would make a killing. Hell, I'd probably be buying more stuff that I don't need, don't have space for. But they're not going to do it. It'll never happen. Joker Jim. True. And there's always somebody out there that's going to buy, you know, this stuff. It's, it, I watched, I don't know if you know who he is, Northern Exile. I watched him, um, I watched one of his videos. And he's a, he used to be a former game shop, not game shop, games workshop manager. Like he Joker ran the Jim. store. How big's your backlog? How big is my backlog? Man, I don't even know if you can quantify that. Um, let's see. We still got an entire Tyranid army to put together. We got more models coming in from the Imperium Magazine subscription. So that that sisters, Admech. Uh, Primaris. Who else is in that? Necrons. Um, gosh, who else? I think there's some something else in there. I don't know. Um, all, all terrain. I was going to say last time that you should send your stories into Northern Exile, smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's better I save him for my channel. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, he's, he's, I like listening to him. I listen to him probably every day. Even videos that I've already heard, I like listening to the stories. And, um, some of the stuff, you know, he says I don't necessarily agree with, but it's not much. I just think that he goes off on a tangent and it's like, wait a minute, you just contradict yourself. But I mean, hell, we all do that. So, oh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, or you particularly, but we have this guy I've been waiting forever to get, the very first Terminator model, Space Marine Terminator model. Jokero Jim, yeah he's great, I watch him in Kyrios. Uh, I try to watch Curios, but I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't really do it. Let's hope you don't let your dogs go and eat more of your warmer stuff, LMAO. Huh, yeah. This is the Exo slash Turtle Joker Terminator. Ocean. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got this from a guy in Australia, um, and it was painted, and so I stripped it, and then I polished him up. So I'm looking forward to painting him. I think Guy at Midwinter Minis um, painted one as well for some kind of charity or something. And uh, Joker o Jim. that's the MP2 armor. Uh, that's the very first Terminator. The very first Terminator model that they you know designed that they ever made. Um, the Saturnine, which is not Saturnine, came after this. And then the next one, I forget what it was called. But, um, Midwinter Minis guy on there, he did, he did a video on this model. And he even talked with the guy who made, you know, the model, the sculpt, the original sculpt. And, um, it was just coincidental because I really wanted to have it. Like my new username. 
changes on a couple of my other accounts too. Jokero Jim. Ah, okay. Euphoric War Eagle. Who would you be? Euphoric War Eagle. I'm not sure who you are. Euphoric War Eagle. John. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Euphoric War Eagle. Makes me think of that old PlayStation game, Warhawk. I don't know if you guys ever played that. It was a pretty cool game. I think it was mostly PvP. Maybe it was just PvP. I don't know. Well, guys, it's 1 o'clock, or almost 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I gotta get up and go to work, so I'm gonna call it. Appreciate you hanging out, and uh, catch everybody next time. Oh, before I go, check the Discord and the polling thing uh, if you're not on Discord already. And let me know what you guys think about, you know, next time play a game, what, what, you know, what game, so forth and so on. Good night. We'll talk to you guys later.